Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Impress. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a table of contents and an index slide for your presentation. So I've got a presentation here, as you can see down the left hand side, with a few slides in there. What I've done with the contents is basically drawn some rectangles with the slide titles on each of these rectangles. So basically I just use this tool and type the title on there and that's what I've done so far. Now I want to create a hyperlink from each of these to the various slides that they represent. So this one is just going to go to the title slide. So if I go onto the insert tab, you've got hyperlink and you've got several options there. This top option is to go to a web page, but I want this to go to this document and then I need to select where in this document I want it to go to. So the first one is going to go to the title slide. You've got various parts of that to click onto, so I could get it to go to where either the title or the subtitle, but I just want it to go to the slide, so I'm, just, I'm going to leave that as it is. Click apply to that one, and then OK. And then I don't need to do the contents one. I'll go to the British, insert hyperlink, same thing document select the British apply okay and then I'll do one more and then I'll save the rest insert hyperlink document select where you want it to go British forces apply okay so you just go through each of these and repeat that process so I'll just pause this and do that so I've done all of those. Now, if you want to know what the key command is to do that, it's just Control and K. So just a slightly quick way of doing it rather than going at the top there all the time and you get to the same place, Control and K. Now, what I've got on the content slide, I also want on the index slide. So if I scroll down at the bottom there, I've got an index slide, which I'm just gonna copy and paste these from there. I could just do a duplicate slide, but I want to copy and paste all of these. So I'll just um, highlight them all, copy them, and then paste them down to the bottom in there. So I've now got, I'll click on that one, just click, and let's do Control K just to check it's still got the link. It still has a link to that slide, so that's okay. So that worked. So now I've got hyperlinks at the beginning and at the end of the presentation. So when I run this presentation, that will allow me to quickly get there. But what I also want is a hyperlink on the British slide and one on the French slide. That's gonna to go to this, these British slides. To do that, I'm going to insert a picture. So insert an image, do the first one, the Duke of Wellington, just bring him down the bottom there, do another one. Insert image, um, pick the dragoon, make that a bit smaller. So there's three slides, so I'll just bring three images in. You can do this on text as well. You don't have to just do it on images, but I'm just going to insert three. And I'll just do it for the British. I won't bother doing it. Um, now, that's not a British person, but he'll do. Marshal Blücher was in charge of the Prussians at Waterloo. Just bring that down there. So the same process applies. I click on the, the actual picture, do control K, because that's the quickest way, and then you get it to navigate to the slide you want. So this first one, I want it to go to British forces, because I'm on the British slide, apply, okay. This one, control K, document. So this one goes to British forces positions, Apply, OK, and then this guy can go to the last one. Control K, document, and this one is units. Apply, OK. Now, if I put this into full screen, so if I go into slideshow and just start from current slide, so this goes into full screen. When I click on any of these, so I mean, this is a preview screen at the minute, but if I click on one of these, I'll click on this one. 
it will take me to that slide, the units. So I've just clicked on that and it will take me to that one. So that works okay. Now obviously if you're going to do it like that, on each of these sub slides that you're going to navigate to, you want a place or a means of getting back to the British slide. So you can either highlight some of the text or put an image on here. So I've got an image on this one. So if I just do control K, this wants to come back to the British title slide, that one, apply, OK. So now I've got a mechanism to get myself back if I needed to go back. So this is, um, I could come straight to this slide, I've got three navigation points, and then on each slide I need one to come back if this is how I want to do it. Just gives you the option. If you don't want to come back, obviously, and you want to carry on going through, you don't click that. That's what that's for. Now, if I want to create a hyperlink that's going to get me back to the content slide or the index slide and have that on every slide, what you need to do is put it into the slide master. Same process, so create a hyperlink on a picture or an object, or even just create a hotspot where you just move your mouse and you can see the hyperlink in the corner. So what I will do is go into the slide master which is the background of these slides and the format of it you can see the picture there that i've put in there that's why it's on every slide and just draw another rectangle just so you can see now i would hide this rectangle change get rid of the color get rid of the border but i'll leave it on the screen so you can see it up to the insert tab hyperlink documents this time i want this to go to contents so remember the contents has got hyperlink to all the slide so this is now going to hyperlink to the content slide or the index slide, whichever. Apply that one. OK. And if I come out of the, um, the master slide window, go back to normal, that is now going to be on this slide. You can see it on that slide as well. It's going to be on that slide. And it's on this slide also. Now, it's not on these slides. So I just put it on the top one, but if you wanted it on both, you'd have to just go and put it on both. If I go back into it and master, so it's not on that one. So if I copy that and then click on there, paste it there, and then just do control K to check it's still picking up the hyperlink. Yeah, it's still going to contents. I close that and then go back to view and normal. So now it's on every single slide. And if you hide this, you, you won't even see it. All you'll see is the hand symbol, but it will, you know it takes you to the content page on each slide. To hide this, if I just go back into the slide master, and this one, I'll click on this one. Over on the right here, you've got transparency options, so I can just move that across, just make it disappear, basically, and do the same for the one on the top. Click on that. Just slide the transparency bar across so it becomes see-through and then go back to view normal and then you can actually see it on there so you've got a hotspot on every slide in the top corner which you do in the slide master you do the transparency so you can't see it you'll have to do it for the the fill color and the border so there's two areas where you need to do that when you do this presentation in the top left hand corner of every slide you've got a link to the content slide so this is all i want to cover on this little video how you can use hyperlinks to create a content slide and an index slide and how you can use hyperlinks to navigate through different sets of slides or create a hotspot that's on every slide that will navigate back to the content slide in this example so hopefully you found this little video of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.